Welcome. This is a general reading for Libra. And how are my librarians? My librarians? Librarians. Uh, this is for the cross, -watch cross watchers also. Um, anybody that is not a Leo, or excuse me, a Libra, um, is a cross watcher. Makes no difference why. All right, can I get some jumpers for Libra? Oh, we've got them coming all over the place, jumping all over. All right, and I do have the flashlight adjusted and it is on. It has been slow to respond um, for the videos that I've been filming today. Um, someday Spare just has something more important to do, okay? But I'm going to give it a little nudge here and see if I have it adjusted right. It's just a typical six inch mag light and we use them in for paranormal research and I have brought it into my private readings just to help validate for the sitter and the sitter is the person who is getting the reading it is just to validate for you spirits in the room now i can see hear, and feel spirit i can often taste some of the things they want me to taste and i can smell some of the things that they need me to smell um but as a regular person sitting in a chair you have no no way to validate that all right come on spirit let me feel you get ah i think you may have that light okay <clears throat> spirit if you do have that light can i get you to take control of it and turn it off please let me know that i have it adjusted correctly a little bit of a wink a blink a nod anything all right i'm going to go ahead and go on with the reading you might see that light come on or off throughout the reading does neither way indicates a yes or a no it only validates that spirits in the room and that they are in on the conversation um usually either direction on or off is kind of an affirmative like yep i'm on that i'm with you on it all right i will finish dealing for libra and i'm going to pull the rest off the bottom i like that bottom energy sometimes All right, Libra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, a lot of this energy is changing for a lot of people. Uh, thank you on the light spirit. Um, things are going to begin to lighten up personally for us. Um, as a collective, we are still going to be dealing with some of the really rough and heavy spots going into December. This is tail end of November reading. Um, but as an individual we are starting to lighten up we're starting to see the lessons in what source is wanting us to know um about these trying times that we're in so the first card up for you was the hierophant and the hierophant is somebody that sits um in kind of a high spiritual position maybe like uh not spiritualist spiritualist but just um for example like the pope that's who this card is uh absolutely supposed to kind of depict is the pope or somebody that has that kind of influence in religion spirituality anything um that's where you're going libra you've opened yourself up to this higher way of thinking um you're allowing your spirituality to come out you're opening up to it um you're feeling a huge huge sense of relief allowing yourself to follow your your intuition you're going with your gut instinct um you you feel like you want to dance and celebrate about this um, this is the four of wands four of wands is you know it's kind of a meant to be a stable loving caring family kind of card and that's where you feel like you're at libra stepping into this new world of spirituality for you um that four of wands also depicts the ever famous 11 11 look at that ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. 
Um, you are coming in, Libra, man, this, this is awesome. You are coming into a confidence that you didn't have for a long time. You know, things, something waylaid you, uh, set you off on the side of the road, but you are stepping back into who you are. Um, you're feeling, not only are you feeling confident, you're feeling abundant. And that's the King of Pentacles. He's got all he needs financially. You're beginning to get back there. Um, Libra, in order to do that, you had to walk away from something. Uh, that's the five of pentacles. And if this was not easy for you to, to kind of turn, um, turn somebody out. I almost feel like you put somebody out of your life, Libra. Um, it wasn't easy for you to do and it, it was painful. Thank you, spirit on the light. Um, it was kind of painful for you to watch this other person flounder around. Um, that is the four of wands energy. Can't, it came up in reverse, actually. So that's why I'm feeling it was, it's not you, Libra. This was your counterpart. Um, however, you felt their, their pain, too. Um, you did not turn a blind eye to it. Um, you know, you felt bad that you did have to hurt somebody. You didn't set out to do that. Um, we've got the, uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. You, you thought you were, um, just detaching and cutting this person out of your life, but you did hurt them. Um, and that bothered you tremendously. You know, the Knight's the guy that kind of comes into the rescue and that's what you did for a while, but then you had to get, uh, cut them loose and throw some tough love at them. You know, uh, time to get out, get going. Um, the situation wasn't near as black and white as you had originally thought. Um, they brought a lot of old baggage, a lot of old um, headaches into the connection. You know, I'm not even really feeling that this is a romantic connection right now. I'm feeling this could be family, could be um, a business working relationship kind of thing. But um, never fear Libra. Um, your brighter days are coming. Um, things are turning around for Libra in a big way. Uh, Libra, you've pulled your strength out. May have been a, a Leo that you were dealing with, actually, uh, that Leo it's depicted in this card. Uh, but you brought your own strength out. If you look over top of her head, you will see the infinity sign. And that's what you had to really remember, Libra, is um, every time there's an ending, there's a beginning. And not only is the not only is there a new beginning for you, there is a new beginning for the other person too. And that's what's taking um, that burden off of your heart, Libra. This person is going to have another opportunity themselves. They, you know, there's it was difficult for them. They're going to step out and um, have a um, an opportunity for new love. There is somebody new that is coming about for them. All right. Can I get some more clarifiers here for Libra? Ah. Aha. And can I get one more? There it is. We'll take it. All right, Libra. Um, da, 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 da. We have a repeating theme here. You did have the um, the high priestess that came up earlier. That was a little bit of a reflection on needing to follow your gut instinct a little bit more too. Um, that repeating uh, repeating pattern comes up again with the chariot. But things are going to balance out for you, Libra. Um, Things are starting to come back around and are settling into what feels more comfortable. You know, the chariot usually brings about change in a, in a hurry. So you're, this change is going to happen pretty rapidly for you. You know, you're starting to take on that feeling, the feeling that you are on to something new and something better. And anytime we take that feeling on, first we get there. 
anytime you take on a new beginning with doom and gloom, uh, guess what? It doesn't go anywhere and it goes in circles. It falls all the hell apart. But you um, have already uh, got that feeling that I'm going to make this. This is going to happen. I know it. You sent that other person packing because they were not how they represented themselves. Um, they had a lot um, of underlying issues. You can see that scorpion kind of climbing out here. Um, the moon card is um, could be a Scorpio that you could be dealing with. You know, it makes no difference um, who the sign might be. It is the general energy overall. But the moon that is coming up is going to throw some final light. Um, we have a new moon, or excuse me, a full moon coming up on the 30th of November. And that is going to throw some final light on this issue. Just giving you, just confirming for you that you made the right decision. You made the right choice. That you are headed in the right direction. Um, Libra, you've got some... Uh, Great, great changes coming around, all because of the work you put forth. We also have the final card that came up for you is the Ace of Swords. That is pretty much a, a Libra card, too, is truth, is justice. It is um, kind of earning, reaping what you sowed. There you go, Libra. Awesome. Glad to hear you're stepping out of that blue funk you guys have been in. Um, <clears throat> drop down, like, subscribe, and share, please. Let your friends know that there's some old school biker chick out here uh, doing tarot readings. And I never leave you that I don't bless you with love and light. See you guys soon.